Hey guys, it's your girl Pixie. I'm here with another video for y'all. Um, good morning. Today's August 22nd. It is about 10 o'clock in the morning. And your girl, I'm up bright and early. Um, I got a video for y'all today. 10 is um, 12 things to, I guess, like improve yourself. 12 things to do when you just need you over life or you need a breakthrough or just when you get out of a relationship or just if you're trying to improve yourself like i guess 12 things to do to upgrade yourself is going to be my video or my topic um for y'all and um yeah um y'all got my waist journey on um i've been real consistent with my waist trainer I need to give y'all a video about like what I do, I guess, what I've been doing to lose weight besides my water. But um, yeah, we going we gonna get into the my, my top 12. Alright, so first on my list, guys, is if you want to upgrade your life for the better, talk to God. I, you know I don't get all crazy super spiritual on here. I don't be trying to bother y'all, but I'm telling y'all, I don't know who y'all God is. Allah God, I don't know who y'all God is, but whoever y'all God is, talk to him, uh, get a relationship, pray, you know, not even just when you want something, not even just when you need something. Thank him when you wake up in the morning. Like, I'm not going to lie, today I woke up with a very, I had a breakthrough. I, I had a very good breakthrough. I was watching somebody very positive on YouTube. Her name is Love Your Natural. I'm not going to lie, if it wasn't for her, like, I'm, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even probably be where I'm at. I'm going to be honest. Like, I was doing everything that she was saying, and I was, and there was stuff that was, God was telling me, but it was like, she was my confirmation. And if you're really spiritual, confirmation is really, really important. Like, I don't know how, like, I used to hear that all the time when I was a kid, because I went to church as a kid, and I didn't really understand what, you know, I understood what confirmation meant, but I didn't understand how important it is. And sometimes you do need a second push or a second confirmation, not even just a second lift, a confirmation. Like that's firm. That's confirmation is basically, that's exactly, they, they showing you something that exactly you already know. It already been said. It already been seen. This is exactly specific. Specific confirmation is specific to me. Very specific. God is confirming specifically trying to tell you that this person is they, they he's delivering this person to tell you exact message that you needed to hear that exact thing you thought you knew you knew god's giving confirmation sis that is right and he will send other people to come to, to be confirmation and if it wasn't for me asking for god he will not send that person god is powerful so he's sending people your way don't think that just because you just stumble across it like I don't believe in luck. I believe more in, you know, faith and signs. And God is I ain't gonna say I don't believe in luck, so I'm lucky, like, oh, uh, I found a dollar. That's like little luck. You know what I mean? But something that God is sending you, that is God. Confirmation. That is God. Like, talk to God. God will give you and show you so much stuff that you was blind to see. Like, you really need God to walk in faith. You really need God to walk every day. Like, he's with you every single second of the day. And he is the one who is guiding you and helping you through your journey. Nobody else is with you every day except you and God. But um, we're going to get on to the next one. I don't want to push my religion on nobody. But I'm telling y'all, I let, I let God in my life a little bit more. And I just see the difference. Like, I, I, I had a breakthrough this morning. I was crying hard i got on my hands and my knees and i talked to god and he, he i've been having some good weeks and he really been I, I i just can't even begin to get into it like it's, it's just real crazy but all right so my next one is books i'm gonna need y'all to get three books all right or maybe even possibly four it just all depends on you my first book is going to be out two 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 notepads and one book to read and possibly a magazine so you need to write. When you're mad about something, when you're angry about something, you need to write down your feelings. 
You don't have to get into specifically. You don't have to say no names. You don't even have to say what happened that day. You can just say, I feel like this. My feelings is this. You know, I got a journal. I might write specifically certain people. I might just write how I feel. I might write a prayer down. After I write, I always feel so much better. Um, I usually have a cup of green tea and I write. Um, read. Find a book to read. Find something to do. That's It's part of a hobby time. It's part of something that you could do in your daily time, especially now with this coronavirus going on. It's something that you have that you can do on your own time. And it's, it's a very informative. And read a newspaper. Read an autobiography. Read a fake, a fake book. It doesn't even matter. Just get your mind on something other than what's going on in your daily life because life is be stressful. Um... And get a daily, a daily like a goal journal. Like basically like what's your goals for the week? What's your long term goals? What's your short term goals? I have a daily journal that I write in and it basically I um have my goal. Like, oh, I want to go to the gym three times this week. I want to make sure I drink my green tea every morning. I would like to do a sewing project this week. And then I'll have my list of long term goals and did you get this done today? And I'll really try to track to see if I did everything I said I wanted to do within that week or that day or whatever the case may be. Um, I love my daily journal. I really do. I love my gold journal. It's it, I, that, that would probably be my favorite thing because I used to love to write all the time. And I do still do it, but I, the daily journal it consumes me more. I love it. So, you know, but I still do write and I still do read. Um, even recently, like, I was reading an um, autobiography out of and Malcolm X. And it's taken me forever to read this book. Like, I've been reading this book on and off for, like, two, three years. And, like, I just start, I just picked up the book probably, like, three weeks ago. And now I got one more chapter left when it was just taking me forever to read the book. You know what I mean? Like I said, y'all, I just got out of a relationship. So I've been trying to do stuff to just keep myself busy. So that was my reason. And I just wanted to change. So, you know, I started doing all this stuff, but I just was not consistent in it. And you, yeah. All right. So number three is going to be get out your feelings. Um, stop being mad about shit that happened. Stop being mad about the past. The more energy that you put on your past, the more you're going to be worried about it. The more you're going to, oh, this person did something to me. Da, 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 da. If I see him, I'm going to do this to them. Like, is this going to make you rehash that? And then you're just going to have hurtful painful feelings when you supposed to be getting over that and moving on you feel me you cannot move on if you're stuck in your past like you really got to get out your feelings about this stuff you angry at somebody just shake it off like just just um just like get out your feelings stop overthinking about it like you overthink 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 you used to be my biggest struggle like i used to always overthink everything and then you're thinking about stuff that's not even going to happen. And, oh, I did this. or this person going to do this to me. And then this going to happen. And that's going to happen. And that's going to happen. You just overthink. And it just works you up so bad. It starts fucking with your anxiety. And it's just, just get out your feelings. Just, if you know you did something wrong to somebody, apologize and get it out the way. If you know somebody did something wrong to you, don't wait for apology. If they're going to apologize, you're either going to accept that you're not. And if they're not going to apologize, just move on. Like, Stop waiting for apologies. Stop thinking that people are going to treat the situation the same as you. Stop thinking that everybody's going to be as solid as you. They not. You just got to just... I've, oh, well. Just get out your feelings about it. Oh, well. My next thing is going to be... This is kind of sounds... Not silly, but it sounds weird. But it's... It worked. I'm sorry. Drink some water, y'all. This is number four. Drink some water. Um, I'm not going to lie. I've been on a 30-day water challenge. I have so much more energy. I get up early in the morning. Like, I don't even have to set an alarm. I'm up at like 7 something in the morning, sometimes even 6. And, you know, I might not get up exactly then. I'll go back to sleep. But now I'm getting up at 8 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning. You know, you I got my waist trainer. And, you know, I'll wake up 2 and 3 o'clock and then I want to go out. And then you don't necessarily want to waste, wear your waist trainer while you're out. Certain outfits you can't wear with the waist trainer. And it's just like if I get up now early by 2 o'clock, three o'clock i have my little six seven hours in i can take it off now you know what i mean um so 
Drinking water is really, um, it, it just gives you up so bright and early. It makes you have much more energy. It, make your, it cleanses your body. It makes your skin better. It just makes you feel so good about yourself. Like, y'all, that's one of the probably best decisions that I made this year was drinking water. Um, I'm on like day 32 or 33 now, and I'm so glad that I did it. Um, so drink your water, guys. Um, number five is going to be exercising. Um, I, it don't have to be nothing crazy. If you like to jog, jog. If you like to run, run. If you like to ride a bike, you know what I mean? I'll go to the gym. You know, I still dance sometimes, so I'll do my pole exercises. Every once in a while, I'll go in my room. I'll practice pole for like a half an hour or something like that. That's how I stay fit. Excuse me. Um, that's how I stay fit. And it's obviously been working for me. You know, I've been feeling better about myself. Um, I never, I don't know if I told you this, guys, but my goal, I was fine with my weight when I was bigger. I never, my intentions whether it never really was to get skinnier. It was more so for me to just lose my stomach. But while you're trying to lose your stomach, you know, you have to do cardio and stuff like that. So you do start getting skinny. So it is what it is. If I'm got to get skinny to get my stomach down, that's what I'm going to do. Um, that's that. Um, all right. My number six is going to be get a hobby slash another income. Like, all right, I started doing waist beads, y'all. Now, I only been doing waist beads for about a week now or a week and a half now. Um, I ain't make no waist beads this week, but I'm actually about to do two after I do this video. But now that's a hobby. I like doing it and it's an extra income for me. You know what I mean? And it just seems quick as it's sitting there. I'm not going to lie. Like when I was watching this show, I used to sit there and do it. But now I'm not watching the show no more. So now I got to find another show because when I'm sitting there watching the show, it, it, I get into it. So that make me. But, you know, you can turn that into another income and it, it starts making you busy because now people's inboxing you. And now you're getting orders and stuff like that. So that's promote yourself. Get a hobby. Get an extra income. Start coloring, start going to the gym, start, you know, being a gamer. I'm about to teach myself how to um, edit videos and stuff. I was going to pay somebody to do it, but that's about to be something else I do. I can get paid to do it. I'm about to learn how to edit some videos. I just bought myself a printer so I can start shipping out my waist beads and other clothes or whatever I'm going to do. So that's going to give me something to do. Um, number seven, dress up. Start getting cute. Um, feel better about yourself. Like, I was one of the types that's like, not that, I mean, when I went out, I obviously like to look nice. But, like, now it's just like, all right, I'll, I'll wake up early in the morning now. And then I'll go to the store. And, like, I used to just walk to the store just like, whatever, I'll throw anything going. Now I'll, like, or, or, or like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't jump in the shower. I'd just wait till I get back from the store. Now I'll, like, jump in the shower, put on an eyelash. Put on a cute shirt. You know what I mean? Nothing too extra because, you know, I'm just walking to the store. But just not like a sweatpants and a t-shirt. Like, dress up. Like, it will make you feel so good about yourself. Like, it will make you feel so different. Like, it will make you feel confident. Like, don't just walk to the store like regular. Like, just start. When you when you go out now, if you wasn't really dressing up, take five more minutes. Put an eyelash on. Like, you know, some people, they tomboyish. Or some people, they just don't like the, the attention or whatever. Like, just do it anyway. Like, it's sometimes you don't feel like it. You be like, oh, take too much. Just do it anyway. Now, if you know you was going to get ready um, at 7, your first said 7, 30, and you was about to get ready, and you know you'd be ready at 6, 7, 15, now take 10 more or 20 extra minutes now and get up, and, 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 you know, uh, 10, 15 minutes earlier, or, you know, start getting ready 10, 15 minutes earlier and put the extra effort in yourself. Number eight, it goes into number six. Start taking pictures. Post up. Feel good about yourself. Let them likes encourage you. You know what I mean? It's not about likes. It's not about people approving of you. It's just about you like, damn, I looked good today. I want to remember I felt good. Take some pictures. You know what I mean? Take Dress up. Take some pictures. Feel yourself. Turn on some music. Do a little TikTok video. Feel good about yourself. It don't even matter if you do or don't post a picture. You don't even have to post the pictures. Just take them anyway. Like, you'll look back a week like, oh, it's cute. I should do that again. I like the how I felt. You know what I mean? That's that. All right, so number nine. This is important to me. It's very, very important to me on my list. Um, I felt like talking to God and drinking water probably would have been the next two and getting out your feelings, overthinking. 
But this one is like super duper important to me. You got to learn to avoid people. You got to learn when to fall back. You got to learn how to be alone. You got to know when. All right. Like I said, I just cut off like three, four of my friends last week. I don't talk to hardly nobody no more. I literally got my one friend. Or like, I'll be walking to the store about to wash laundry. And I want to have somebody to call. And I don't have that really no more because I cut off most of my friends. You know what I mean? Now it's just like, now I'm just alone. And I got you got to be okay with that. Like, you have to be okay with that. Like, you alright, I'll go call my friend. My certain friends, I cut them off for a reason, obviously. They not going to have nothing too encouraging for me to say. They going to have a little, just, just something to fill the time up. And then you still going to be in the same space you was at when you got off the phone with them. Like, learn to be by yourself. Start watching a TV show. Get a ways be. Talk to God. Read a book. Like, it's something about not being available that people love. Like, people love you when they can't find you. When you around all the time, people forget about you. People, people take advantage of you. And I'm not saying they do it on purposely, but it's like people take you for granted. Learn to be by yourself. Learn when to fall back. Don't always feel like you have to be around people. It will, yo, it will save you so much drama, so much heartache, so much disappointment. I'm not going to lie. I hated being by myself. I hated it. I started learning how to be by myself around when my mom passed away. I mean, I have done it before. But that was like real, real, real to me. So as y'all guys know, my mom passed away last May. So it's been about a year and some change now. Um, my mom passed away. And I don't know if anybody had anybody really close to them passed away. But it's just like when somebody passed away, everybody's there for you. Everybody's at the funeral. Everybody's all over you. And it's just like I kind of set myself up during the funeral, before the funeral even happened to be like, Everybody's going to be in your face. Everybody's going to be da 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 da. But as soon as three weeks go past, they are not there. None of them people be around. None of them people be checking for you. None of that stuff. Like, people just. And I'm not saying nobody's doing it on purpose, but people, they in their own lives. You know what I mean? They be worried about them. So it's like, instead of me just reaching out, trying to call people or expecting people to pick up my phone call because I was lonely because people wasn't. My my closest best friend left me when my mom passed away. You feel me? My best friend that was my everything to me. Like, me and her was like this. She just, I'm not going to say she turned her back on me because I don't feel like it was malicious. But she just did not have the time for me. And she, it, she picked the perfect time to kind of start falling back for me. And it was my mom. And, and, and I was hurt about it. Like I was, I was, I was, I was real hurt. And I'm not the type of kind of person that feels like I need five or six best friends. I was, I put my all into my relationship with my best friend. And I'm getting kind of emotional thinking about this. But like my best friend just really let me down. You know, she was very supportive at my mom's funeral, and she was there for me and whatever the case may be. But she just disappeared on me. She had a child. And, you know, and I understood she had a child, but I was willing to come over there. I was willing. She lived not too far from me. We live around the corner from each other down there. I was willing to come over there and, you know, and, and be close to the baby and stuff like that. And it just, it just tore me down that my best friend just was not there for me. I would call 20 times and no phone call or I would be lucky. Like, I would call 20 times and I would be lucky if two times out of the 20 I would get a phone call. Or I would get a phone call, then it was like two minutes later, oh, I got to call you back. Like, But it was barely a phone call. And that's when I started learning how to just be by myself because I'm not going to try to refill the void with fake-ass friends and end up in some mixed shit just because I want another friend. So instead of me, you know, in the beginning, of course, that I was trying to do that. But after a while, I just was like, I'm not going to do that to myself no more. So that's when I really started learning how to be by myself when my best friend just kind of disappeared. I, I have made other friends since her. But to me, I, I feel like I have not had a valuable, valuable, valuable best friend, best friend, best friend relationship since her. And part of learning how to be alone is I'm okay with that. When the time comes, I would love to have the most wonderful, bestest, best friend in the whole wide world. I have a very, very, very close friend to me that I, that I am really, really close with. And we are really, really cool. 
but I would not say that we're the bestest, bestest friends. I can't even say we are best friends, but if you had a real best, best, best friend, then you know what I mean. You feel me? You know what I mean. So I just, sometimes you got to avoid people. Sometimes you don't want to be alone and you see they just too much going on and you, sometimes you just got to be like, you know what? I love these motherfuckers, but they got too much going on and you just got to fall back. Like even my dance friend, I'm, I got one, one little friend I just made, but we not close like that. She barely come to the club. Now I'm going to have to be all back alone in the club because I don't talk to my friend no more. So I'll be all right. I'll be fine. You make new friends. Sometimes certain friends block your blessings from other people. So it is what it is. But learn how to be alone. Avoid people. Number 10 is going to be busy, 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 busy. Keep yourself busy. Find a new hobby. Work out. Um, go to bed early. Watch a TV show. Find a new, do a puzzle. Read a book. Walk around the neighborhood. Walk to the store, window shop. I don't care what it is you got to do. Keep yourself busy. I don't care. I, I, I'm going to tell you to try to avoid social media unless you, um, unless you doing it for like research or how to start a business or something like that. Try to stay off the internet with the Facebook and the negative because the negative around you is going to make you, I mean, keep yourself busy that you can barely answer a FaceTime call or, you know, a Facebook call or Instagram call. You know what I mean? If you want the internet to, 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 to for yourself, to promote yourself, I'm all for it. But try to keep yourself busy and not with social media. I mean, a movie is fine. A TV show is fine. But keep yourself. And you know what? I'm going to say this. Try to watch your stuff. If you have a computer or a laptop, because that's one thing I'm going to start doing. I'm going to try to start watching my stuff on my laptop, on my computer, because it's like when you're watching it on the phone, the moment that you see it on your phone, you want to click on a message that somebody wrote you while you was just in the middle of a good movie. I'll do that. Like I'll be exercising and using my phone as a timer. And then I'll start my exercise to answer a text messages. So, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. So keep yourself busy. Do your hair. Put some braids in your hair. I don't care if it takes five days to do them damn braids. Do them damn braids. Find something to do. You know what I mean? Um, whatever. Number 11 is going to be treat yourself. Um, buy yourself. Treat yourself. Buy yourself a new outfit. And not even just buy yourself a new outfit. Treat yourself like you would want somebody to treat you. If you want to go on a fancy dinner, go by yourself. If you want somebody to take you to Red Lobster, go by yourself. Like, you know what I mean? You might meet somebody in there that's like, okay, she's fancy. She's like this. She like that. She like this. You you never know. Like, you might meet somebody in a fancy restaurant to see that you're trying to level up. You're trying to find yourself. And you, you're, you're going to meet somebody that might be on the same page. You never know. Start going out. You want to go out with your friends and your friend's not available. Or you don't want to go with this friend because, um, um, you know, you don't want to go with this friend because you just really don't want to go with this friend. Like, that's another thing into avoiding people. If you don't want to go to a party and you just go because somebody asked you to, don't go. You know what I mean? Just don't go. But treat yourself like you wanted to appear a size. It's like, oh, you want a guy to buy you flowers. Buy your own flowers. Or you want, you know you wanted that nice little bracelet. Work hard. Go get yourself a nice bracelet. It'll make you feel so much better yourself that you got on a six, seven hundred dollar bracelet and can't nobody rub it in your face like, oh, I got that bracelet for you. If it wasn't for me, you you didn't have it. And I hate people like that. I dealt with somebody like that. They was like, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have this ass person. Like, no. If it wasn't for you and you didn't give it to me, I would find another way to do it. And that's just the gotta it got that's just gotta be your mindset. Like well, how am I going to get this if this person don't do it for me? And then when this person don't do it for me and they disappoint you and they were supposed to do it, you got to be like, boom, I still got it anyway. So treat yourself, okay? Do you hear me? Treat yourself. Even if you wanted somebody else to do it, if you wanted them Uggs, if you wanted that Brazilian hair, you was waiting for your boyfriend or your girlfriend to buy it for you, buy that shit for yourself. Treat yourself. It was a new outfit you wanted. Treat yourself. Don't go broke buying it. You feel me? Pay your bills. Put $50. I don't care if it take you two months to get this shit. Put $50 every week or $60 every week. I don't care if it take you two, three months to get that shit. Get that shit. Treat yourself. And that's another thing. Like, I used to always want to just buy little dumb shit. Little dumb shit. New phone cases. New phone cases. I'm buying $10 phone cases when I could have just... I'm going to buy this one little art phone case 
whatever. I mean, that's, I'm not saying you don't have to get another phone case. You can get another phone case. But buy one phone case. And then in three, four months, get another one. But you'll buy 10 off phone cases every week. When then you save, you save that money at $60, $70. You could have, that's half your money for a pair of Uggs or something. Or, you know what I mean, a nice little bag or something that you want in our cute little wallet. Like, it's okay to want to get, like now, like I used to always buy cheap stuff. Or knock off. Now, I'll buy myself a coach wallet. Or I'll buy myself, you know what I mean? Instead of buying a knockoff $30 shoes, now I'm going to go buy the $60, $70 pair. I'm not saying overload yourself, but it's nice to treat yourself. You know what I mean? It's nice to treat yourself. So that's going to be my number 11. This video is getting long, y'all. I'm sorry, but sorry. And my number 12, this is going to be like my probably one of my most important ones. My most one of my most important key points um start over number 12 start over like if you feel like this job is getting on your nerves and you had it leave find another job if you if these people next door or you getting tired of your neighborhood or you getting tired of the environment you getting tired of the drama save your money and move you feel me if you feel as though all your friends is just not real friends Cut them all off. Look, I'm telling y'all. You listen. I, I, I'm about to really get crazy, like about this. Like I literally just cut off all these friends last week. I got out of a bad relationship. You feel me? Around the same time I got out of a relationship, I literally stopped being friends with my friends. And I'm about to get really emotional. I stopped being friends with all my friends. I stopped being friends with all my friends. I stopped messing with my ex-girlfriend. And I told you, I'm very emotional today. But I stopped being friends with all my friends except one friend. Except one friend, my friend Sine, that I, I knew since 2015. And I didn't met new friends. I didn't met better people. It's only been three weeks. And I didn't met better people. I wake up happier. Like... I wake up happier. I wake up just so different, guys. And I'm telling y'all, like, I don't mean to get emotional. And I'm ugly as shit when I cry. <laughs> but starting over just been everything to me. Like, it was a point where all I had was weed and music and I did not have nobody and I had to start over and this is not my first time starting over this is at least like my second or third time when my ex-girlfriend from two years was treating me bad I had to start over I got involved with a guy and I knew I didn't like guys like that and I did with my ex-girlfriend I just broke up I had to start over when me and her broke up I just started realizing everything that job the people that was that has attached to that job, everything I just had to get rid of them. I had to start over. Like I'm, I just started over at least like four times, and it's just like every time I start over, it's just more and more blessings that just happen. And I'm sorry to get emotional, but I I knew a video was coming where I was gonna start crying. I ain't even gonna hold y'all, but it's it's, it's growth for me, but. Starting over, y'all, is so important. And starting over made me be able to do all this stuff on my list that I'm writing over, talking to God, and and reading books, and getting on my feelings. I ain't had time for that shit because I was in the messy shit. I was in a fucking relationship that was sucking me fucking dry, and I was just getting used and taken from, and getting hurt and lied to, and, and cheated on, and. And, and all that shit. I'm not going to say crazy cheating on But like I got treated so bad in that fucking relationship. And I love that fucking girl. Like it wasn't as bad as the situation that I had two years ago. With the girl with the two kids. But it took a lot out of me. Like that shit drained me. And if I wouldn't have started over. I would not have been able to get through none of that shit. With the ex-girlfriend. My ex-girlfriend. You know my ex-girlfriend two years. Was calling me fat. And this is in the third. I started losing weight because of that. You know my, my friend attacked me and you know I had to start over after that attacked me I started doing my nails I started doing my sewing you know my ex-girlfriend this ex-girlfriend we broke up I cut people off I got myself a printer I started doing nails again 
You know what I mean? I started making my business cards. I started doing waist beads. I started taking care of how I look more often. Instead of walking to the store regular, now I'm walking to the store, you know, dressed up. And I'm getting compliments. And I'm taking pictures. And I'm falling back from people. And God is sending me, like, red flags. And I'm meeting new people. And I'm going now. I'm going to Vegas next month. Like, I'm going to Vegas next month. I've been wanting to travel forever. I, last time I went somewhere, I was nine years old. And I'm going to travel next year. And I'm, I mean, travel something this year. And I'm, I'm so happy about it. And shit is just changing for me, guys. And I'm just trying to stay focused. And I'm just so happy. And just... I'm just so focused. But yeah, guys. Um, thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for anybody who been rocking out with me. That any new followers. I got some material for y'all. Y'all please keep rocking with me. I thank y'all so much. Um, I really do love this YouTube stuff. So I hope y'all continue to support me so I can keep going. And guys, just stay prayed up. Protect your peace. And start over. Second piece at all costs, y'all. We level one up this year. Um, these is my 12 ways to upgrade yourself, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.